Good morning, guys. Check out the view that we got going on in the northwest. Uh, so anyhow, I was playing around with uh, astronomy accessory last night, and I thought I'd do a quick review for you guys. All right, guys. So just to make this consistent, I got to do my intro. For those of you guys that might not be familiar, my name is Vlad, and I run a little astro blog called abt-astro.com. And of course, this YouTube channel, so if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. But anyhow, let's get to the review. Uh, so today we're looking at the Celestron uh, Sky Portal um, Wi-Fi dongle. Pretty cool little accessory, I will say. So basically, all this thing does is it'll plug into, I think, pretty much any modern, you know, uh, Celestron you know, mount or telescope that has uh, go-to built in. It just plugs into the auxiliary port, which, you know, you'll see in a second here. And that will allow you to uh, control your telescope from your smartphone. So let's get outside and check out how it works. Alrighty, guys, welcome outside. So here's what we got going on. So this is the Celestron um, 127 SLT, I believe is what the model is. It's a seven inch or a seven inch, a five inch Mac <laughs> that they make. Uh, so the Sky Portal, it is compatible, I believe, with any go-to modern um, Celestron telescope. So basically, it just plugs into the auxiliary port, like you see there. Um, and then from there, you know, once you got the sucker plugged into the auxiliary port, the, you know, it's pretty simple to get this thing going. So basically what you're going to do, right, is you're going to go to the Play Store and you're going to download the Sky Portal app, basically. So I already have it installed and downloaded just to kind of make this quick. So you open that, right? Um, and this is actually, from what I you know, know, this is a live version of Sky Safari. And Sky Safari is an awesome, awesome app. That's the one that I use all the time for astronomy stuff. Um, for like a star atlas anyway. Uh, so anyway, so the only things you really need to do, right, um, to get this, you know, to get the Wi-Fi connection going is you'll go into your phone's Wi-Fi settings, right? And then, um, so my normal, uh, you know, uh, Wi-Fi is the home one there. So all you do is you just click on the Celestron one, it connects, right? And it actually connects directly to that Wi-Fi dongle. Um, once you're connected, uh, in the app itself here, you'll go to scope, and then it'll actually give you an option here uh, to, that says connect, and it'll just connect to the, you know, to the Wi-Fi dongle again. I'm already connected, so I'm good to rock and roll. So basically, the way, I mean, you know, I'm not going to make this uh, too long and complicated, and I'm not going to go over this whole app and, you know, how that works, because, you know, that would take some time. But basically, I mean, the whole point of the dongle, right, is you select, you know, like, let's say, so, you know, my scope is pointing kind of towards the horizon, let's say, if I wanted to go, you know, point at the moon up there, right, you know, I just select the moon, right, and then um, if I open the scope settings there, all I got to do is just press go to, and look at that, there, you know, there's no wire, right? There's nothing connecting my, you know, this section of my wife's phone <laughs> uh, to the scope. And it's, you know, it's slewing towards the moon already. So that's, that's, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool thing, you know. Um, and then you can uh, manually, right? So you could move the scope manually. So, you know, so I'm pressing the buttons here, right? And it's moving the scope manually. So that's pretty cool. Um, so you could do fine adjusting. You could adjust the speed in that type of deal. So you could say, you know, whatever, like, you know, it's a pretty slow speed. So it looks like the scope's not even moving, but it is, you know. Um, so, yeah, but basically, I mean, that's kind of the whole deal with it is that it lets you control your telescope, you know, instead of using the keypad and punching in, you know, a bunch of stuff in there to go from, you know, let's say deep sky object to deep sky object, you just select it on your phone here. And it's really convenient, you know, I, I, I do I do enjoy this, I do like this. So, anyhow, um, to, uh, not to make this video like 19 hours long, we're going to go back inside and I'll kind of tell you guys what I think overall about this device and if it's worth your hard earned money. Alrighty, welcome back guys. So, um, what did I think about the Sky Portal and, you know, just in general? Uh, now, I will say that last night wasn't the first time I used this. I have used this thing before, you know, with actually several uh, Celestron telescopes. So, I've got a, you know, pretty, pretty good, um, 
uh, like you know experience with using it so basically what do i think about it i think you know um it looks like it's retailing for about 120 bucks for 120 bucks it does really simplify using your telescope um that's that sky portal app that celestron makes is honestly my biggest gripe with this it's not really the accessory itself um if you're kind of newer to astronomy um the app is great really you know it's got the miser objects you know it's got all the bright you know like stars and that type of deal that you might want to see my issue is at least i don't know if you know if you know of a way to make this work with actual sky safari uh, i would highly highly recommend this sky safari you know there's different versions of it like i've got the pro version it's got like gazillions of stars like all the deep sky objects that i could ever want to you know see that's what i personally use and as far as i know you cannot use this with actual sky safari you have to use it with the celestial sky portal app which again it's a free app you know so that's cool uh you could actually check it out yourself just download it on your phone you know even before you buy this uh but that's kind of the limiting factors the as far as i know again you can't use this with uh with you know actual sky safari so what do i actually use normally um i actually you have a sky fi unit that's really similar to this but it worked with like any mount so that's what i personally use uh this works pretty much the same way now last night was the first time that i actually tested the range on this list so after i cut the uh, the clip out well i actually didn't cut it out I, I i let it roll but it was just completely dark i was just too far away from it so you couldn't really see me or anything uh but i tested the range on this um i would say the reliable range on this is only like 10 feet so not very far so if you're thinking about using this and like sitting in your house or something like that and controlling your telescope probably won't work too well um but i you know personally i don't find it to be like you know like that big of a deal because usually when i'm using this i'm not telescope and i'm visual observing anyway so you know i don't really care uh so anyhow yeah as long as you're you know download the app tr check out the app if you like the app and you know you're cool with using that app to control your telescope i think this is a very worthwhile accessory um for a little bit more probably i think i'm not sure how much the sky fi cost these days but for like twice as much more if you do have multiple telescopes or plan to get a different type of mount uh, the sky fi will control pretty you know it's a really really similar to this but it'll control pretty much any type of mount so uh do check that out i will also have a link uh in the video description to an auxiliary port splitter because a lot of their mounts and telescopes only have one auxiliary port so if you have more multiple accessories if you already have like um what's that deal the star sense or something like that you'll need a splitter so i'll have a link uh, in the video for that so anyhow hopefully you guys found this helpful uh if you guys have any questions comments or anything like that leave them in the thing below if you're not subscribed again hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video bye